So I just want to quickly go through how we can add or connect a MySQL database to our Java applications um, in NetBeans. All right, so once you would have downloaded and installed MySQL server, um, you should also have downloaded the MySQL connector J, which is the jar file or the driver that will allow us to connect our Java application to our MySQL database. So I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible. I won't be writing any code or anything. Um, I'm just going to show how to connect the connector J to our Java project. All right, so first thing you want to do is, again, ensure you downloaded and installed MySQL server as well as the connector J um, jar file. All right, so once that would have been done, you would just open NetBeans, go to the project that you want to connect to the MySQL database. So you're going to right click on the project folder or on the project name. You're going to go to properties. Then you're going to click on libraries. Now, once you click on libraries, you want to add the MySQL connector to your class path, right? So if you look at class path here on my screen, you see a plus icon. You want to click on that plus icon. And what you want to do now is go to add jar slash folder, right? Now, once that is done, you will navigate to where you save your MySQL connector J jar file. Now, for me, I did this process already, so it automatically came up here. But what you'll do is if yours, well, chances are yours won't come up in the same exact location. So you'd want to click on this PC. You'd want to go to your C drive, assuming the C drive is where you would have installed your MySQL database management system right so you would click on the local disk which is your c drive then you want to go to the program files and that's the x86 option so you want to click on that open it and then you want to navigate to where the you find the mysql folder Right, so my MySQL folder is here, so I'll open this. All right, so once you open the MySQL folder, um, you should be seeing the connector J. I, I was moving a little bit too fast, so let me just cancel that and go again. So let's right click on the project name, properties, libraries, where you see the class part, click on the plus, add jar slash folder. I'm in my program, my program files, so I want to go to my MySQL folder, open the MySQL folder. You should be seeing a connector J folder. You want to open the connector J folder as well. So once you open the connector J folder, you will see this jar file, the MySQL connector J jar file, and it tells the version of MySQL that I'm using. So I'm using 8.0.33. Right, so you'll click on your jar file, open it, and it will be added to your class path here. So all the jar files that you want to use, you'll add them to your class path. All right, now once that is done, I am going to uncheck the build dependencies option here. That is important. So this is very important. So uncheck the build dependencies, then click on OK. And that will add the connector J for my SQL to your Net, to your Java project in NetBeans. Alright, so under the project, I'm going to go down to libraries and you're see here my connector my sql connector j jar file would have been added so we are now able to connect our 
Java application to our database. Alright, so I have this database created already. I'm calling it my Java DB. Now, just to demonstrate that the connection actually happened, I'm going to now connect my login form. So I have this login form here that I'm going to connect to that particular database. Alright, so first things first, we are working with databases. So I would need to I will need to import this java.sql library right now this is a part of the jdbc api it allows us to write our insert commands and execute those commands write any sql command and execute those commands not just insert but any sql command as well as it allows us to connect to a database and so forth right now i i did another video where I did a more pointed walkthrough in terms of writing code and so forth, but that was in Eclipse. The same thing will apply. Um, I'm not going to do any of that. No, I just wanted to show how to add the MySQL connector J and also test the connection. Uh, importantly though, we need to state our URL to where the database can be found the URL will be written as shown here. So JDBC, we are using a MySQL database management system. We are on local OS. The port for MySQL is 3306. And this is the database I want to connect to. The same database that I would have created over here using my MySQL shell. Right? I also want to state the username that is assigned to my mysql server and i also want to state the password that is assigned to my mysql server once that is done i will create this connection here now in trying to establish the connection it needs to we need to specify the url for the database the database username and the database password all right so these things here now, once the connection is established, I'm just going to display this message in our console. If there's an issue, then this message will be displayed. All right, so we're using try catch here. The attempt to connect is in our try. And if any exception is caught or any error occurs, then it will be caught and a message will be displayed. Just to highlight one other thing. Right, so this is my code here that will allow us to do the login. Now I specifically want to point to the SQL command here. Right? So I am doing a select statement and I want to select the username and the password from this particular table again i would have created that table in mysql over here right so this username and password must match in order for us to log in successfully all right so i'm just going to run this now and see if the connection was made because again the point of this video is just to show you how to add the mysql connector j so we can connect our Java application to a MySQL database. So let me go ahead and execute this now. All right, so it said that it is connected to the database, which is a good thing. I pay this no mind. This is this was me connecting to um, some other um, database management system, right? But pay that no mind. So we connected successfully, which is the message here, right? So to see if we are actually connected, I'm going to enter this username and password and see if we will be logged in. 
Alright, so it was J Will. And the password was A B C So it was A B C D one two three. And log in. And it said log in successful. Click on OK. And then it will bring up this for me. Alright. Now to test if we're actually using these credentials from the database, I'm going to run the application one more time. It said connected to the database. I'm going to type in credentials that are not in the database and see what it says. So I'm going to say test user. I'm just going to say ABC456. Right? And then log in. And it said login fail. So we must type the username and password that is stored in the database for us to log in. All right, so it said something went wrong. I guess I typed the incorrect thing. All right, but just to fear, just to verify that the connection is there, let's run it one more time. All right, it said connected to the database. So we're going to do J will ABC D one, two, three. All right, so yes, we are connected. I right, so that is it basically. I just wanted to go through how we add that connector J. All right, so I won't make this video any longer. So that is it basically.